Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today's video, I really want to share 10 iPad and Apple Pencil tips and tricks. So I've been using the iPad for a while, but just lately I actually learned some really cool things that you can do on here that I didn't even know about. And they just amazed me, so I really wanted to share these with you. So hopefully you'll take something new away from this. If you are new to my channel, then I'm Carly from Beach Life Studio, and I really love drawing on the iPad and sharing lifestyle content. So if that's something you enjoy, consider subscribing. Just quickly, the iPad I'm using is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Apple Pencil second generation. So the first tip I wanna share is that you can actually double tap this pencil to bring up certain settings, but you can change that by going to settings on the iPad and then going down to Apple Pencil, and if it's not showing up all these settings, you just need to put your pencil onto the charge and then it will bring up all the settings. Basically just here, it's showing the double tap and these are all the options that you can have. You can click any one of these and like literally for like the show color palette. So now if I double tap, that now brings up my color palette. So it's really cool and you can double tap again and it takes it away. The next thing is really cool and that is you can write things with the pencil and it changes into text. So if you go to settings again, back on Apple Pencil, it's literally just this toggle. It's got scribble and you can just turn it on. So now if we come to Google, I can actually just type in word and it automatically just puts it into text. The next thing you can do is you can actually swipe up from the left hand corner and it will actually take a screenshot of your page. Also, you can save a PDF. So if I just type in something and click on a website, so now if you swipe up and do that, it will bring up the top here. You can screenshot the page or you can actually click on full page and now it's like basically saving it as a PDF. So now you can click here and save that to your iPad. And if you press done, you can also save it here or delete it. Such a cool thing if you found an article and you wanna like save the PDF. Also, if you swipe up from the right hand side, this will bring up a little notes box. So you can like take notes, really quickly you can make a new note here and you've got all your little tools down the bottom here and if you click this little four boxes here it'll bring up all the notes that you've done so you can keep them all together and access them really quickly the next thing i think is really cool basically you can watch a youtube video in its own box that floats on the ipad whilst you do something else i don't think this actually works for the app itself so you have to come onto like a web page so once you've picked the video that you wanna use, you can just uh, make it full screen and then just click this little button here and now that's brought it into its own little box. So basically I can come out of that, I can play the video, whoops, and, and then I can literally watch it whilst I draw. I mean, how cool is that? I love watching YouTube videos, so this is gonna like come in real handy for me now. Another really cool thing is that you can actually pinch the keyboard and make it smaller. So if I just do this, you can use two fingers to pinch it and now you've got a nice small little keyboard. So if the other keyboard just is too big for you and you only want it small, you can just do that and to pinch two fingers out to bring it back again. The next thing is that you can actually preview a website before clicking into it. So if you just hold down on the link, it actually brings up this little preview box so you can kind of see what's going on. You can't actually scroll, but you can see like a quick snippet of like what the page is gonna be about before you actually click it. And if you wanna open it, you can just click open there. The next feature is split screen. So if I just swipe up this little bar and I wanna like bring up Procreate on the side of a web page, just click and hold it and then drag it. If you let go in the middle, it will bring it up in its own little kind of preview box. But if you want it like an actual split screen, you just like hold it to the side here and let go and now it's like on its own split screen. You can also do that by just clicking at the top here on the preview bit and then you can either choose full screen, split view or slide over. The next thing is just a little hack if you are like into customization. It's a little hard to see but I'll zoom in but there's a little paint palette in the corner there. You can actually change this picture just by swiping down from the corner and then you're clicking on this part here, which is like your do not disturb bit, where you can choose a different focus. And I've made this one with the little art like paint palette. And to make a new one, you just press on new focus and you can go to custom. And then you've got all these little icons that you can choose from and you can choose like the color as well. So you can change it here, just give it a name and then click next. And it's basically added it to the list there for you. So then when you scroll down here, you can just click there and you can change it. So if I click on mindfulness, now I've got that little icon. 
So you can like change the icons around and I think it's a pretty cool feature. So the last one is really handy for me as I love drawing from Procreate, not Procreate, Pinterest. <laughs> and that's dragging photos from Pinterest into Procreate really easy. You have to open up Pinterest into its own like web page. It doesn't actually work on the app. If I just bring Procreate to the side and if I just want to drag a photo into Procreate really quickly, just hold the photo, drag it let go and it's imported like how good is that and i've got my reference photo if i wanted it like in the app so when i was making my vision board for my plan with me video recently i was doing that to make the vision board and it was just like so good so easy i love it <laughs> let me know which one you enjoyed the most and if you learned anything new i hope you'll stick around to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye